It's the Alkaline Coach Conversation brought to you by Dave's Collision Shop and Becker Hardware. The Warriors uh, will go on the road this week traveling to Wapsie Valley. Last week it was a 22-14 to loss to North Butler. Uh, what were your overall takeaways from the game, Coach? Well, a lot like the first game, Darren. We got to find a way to win the game in the fourth quarter when we have it. Uh, we 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 played well. Um, you know, we were, we were a man down going into the game and um, you know, and not having him in the lineup, Parker Temp is is a big deal. But our, our kids responded. They they accepted the challenge all week. Great week of practice. Came out and established a great drive right away. Got up eight nothing. Had the lead late in the third quarter. And and I'll give North Butler a lot of credit. In particular, their quarterback and their passing attack. They made some really good tight throws and coverage. Uh, to move the chains on third down in the second half, and that really ended up being the difference. Looking at your overall uh, defensive uh, per, uh, statistics, uh, 10 tackles for a loss, three sacks in that game. Uh, seemingly on the stat sheet, uh, your defense continues to do some nice things. Is that fair to say? Yeah, Darren, we're, you know, we're playing good football. We're doing, the kids are doing what we're asking them to do. It's just not showing up in the win column. And, and the spirits are high and, and and the defense really did play well for the most part and, and uh, made those negative plays and put them in third and long so many times, but we just, we, we just couldn't get that quarterback or, you know, disrupt the pass. There was a couple of times we hit him and he still made passes that were in airtight coverage. And, and uh, so, you know, that's a little frustrating. Usually those situations, you win those situations uh, when you're getting that kind of pressure on the quarterback, but, you know, they just made the plays. And also looking at the offensive uh, side of the ball, uh, running the football for 184 yards, and more importantly in your offense, uh, 5.1 yards a carry. Uh, those are the type of numbers you probably want to see on that side of the ball, correct? Yeah, we felt comfortable running the football the entire game. Uh, you know, Brady Ort did a great job with his reads, and, and you know, Kyle Kaboshik stepped up into the role of the B-back uh, position. He's – He's got all the potential to be a good one there. And, you know, he, he had a lot of tough yards and ran hard. Um, we, we didn't get some of the other slot backs involved as much as we had hoped to. Uh, but, you know, our quarterback and B-back kind of led the way for us. Right now, uh, you're doing some good things. Uh, you're showing the kids that you're doing some good things. You haven't gotten the reward with the victory thus far. How do you keep uh, selling to your kids that, uh, hey, you know what? We're doing some right things, just a couple of rough averages to smooth out, and then things will start going our way. Well, we have a, we have a lot of competitive kids, and, and they know the situation. They know we're a couple plays away. The film, the film doesn't lie. Um, you know, a play here, a play there. Um, we're 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 two and zero oh instead of zero oh and two. And but you are what you are, and we're hungry, and we're going to keep fighting, and and we're going to go down to Wapsie and and give it our all. And I, yep. I feel good about our kids. And uh, the Warriors against the Warriors uh, this Friday night. Uh, you head down the road uh, for uh, the first time uh, this season. Tell us about uh, Wapsie. Uh, what are you expecting out of them uh, come Friday night? Uh, pretty pretty traditional with with speed on the field, a lot of athleticism. Really impressed by this new quarterback they have in their offense, his his dual threat capabilities, and and that's an area that we we struggled with a little bit late in the game last week. So that's definitely uh, our first and foremost. That's we've got to be able to uh, slow him down and and keep him from making the plays that he's been making on on second and third and long in their offense so far this season. Mm -hmm. um, They've they've got talented backs too as well. So we've got to have our hands full, but our our kids are going to give them problems too. All right, uh, coach. Hopefully the good things can continue and your kids can get rewarded with victory this week. Keep your guys healthy. We wish best of luck. Thanks, Darren, for the time. Jason Ord, head coach of the Southwind Warriors, brought to you by Dave's Collision Shop and Becker Hardware.